made up war about that. This one's a real one. These are white folks against white folks. This is a real war. This is World War, like World War I and World War II. This is, this is, this is going to be land changers. But they're going to talk about kind of. Biggest Kanye fan. Soon as I see anything with Kanye that is huge and talked about everywhere, I step back and I look to my right and left. I look around. I go, something's about to happen. Because every time they've used Kanye as an excuse or a distraction, something went down that we were not paying attention to. In this in this present time, they're talking about White Lives Matter t-shirt, Black Lives Matter, <laughs> what he's doing, people going back and forth. Yeah, and I think this Africa is upset. There's a war about to happen. There's a straight up war about to happen. This one's a real one. These are white folks against white folks. This is a real war. This is World War, like World War One and World War Two. This is, this is, this is gonna be land changer. Yeah, Shalom. Here's the Book of Jude, verse twenty-four. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever, so be it. Giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Khwadash. A double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone <coughs> who watch over our souls. Shalom to the Yakim who avoid that are sincere and serious to doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Khwadash. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. To you all. Stay strong and stay mighty. Yes, I'm the brother, the disciple Koshab and Yamian, and the bar chain great little storm Barbados. Proverbs 22, verse 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Now, this is, this is. Yeah, there's the man John Sally. And he talking about. How the whole world is distracted by Kanye, Kyrie, etc. Right? Meanwhile, meanwhile, right? It hit a NATO country. It, NATO, or the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It's often considered to be one of the most feared military alliances in the world. Its treaty says... An attack on one member equals an attack on all. Soon after we wrapped up our show last night, there was an attack on one such NATO member. A missile struck Poland. Two people died. How did NATO react? With confusion. Followed by a desperate attempt to turn around the story. Let's now take a look at the sequence of events. At 3.40 p.m. local time on the 15th of November, a missile fell on a Polish village. This is where it is located on the map, just six kilometers from Ukraine. The missile hit a grain drying facility. <laughs> say that they heard a terrifying sound as a missile flew over the town. The force of the explosion shook windows. One farm worker was due to start his shift at 7 p.m. later that evening and he says he could have been among those dead. The attack came at a time when Russian missiles were raining on Ukraine. It was one of the heaviest barrages of missiles to hit Ukraine since the start of the war. Goes without saying, Russia was the obvious suspect. Poland's foreign ministry was quick to put out a statement. It said the missile was Russian-made. 
the country's president, Andrei Duda, also hinted at a Russian hand. The Ukrainian Defense Forces also activated their air defense systems. Kiev launched the Soviet era projectiles in several directions to fend off the Russian assault. Now, Ukraine's defense ministry posted this video and claimed to have shot down an estimated 73 Russian cruise missiles. The Russian you get you get away game with this, or you you will get away game with this. Let me get a priest up here. Second Ezra, chapter nine, of verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure though the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made." Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High speak of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Is that right? So you're measuring the times, yeah? Being distracted or being kept in a certain frame of mind, because that's what the word entertain or entertainment means. Right? <clears throat> right, entertainment, amusement, right? It says to keep up, maintain, to keep someone in a certain frame of mind. So, if everything you keep hearing is Kyrie Irving, Kyrie, Kyrie Irving, Kanye, Kyrie Irving, Kanye, Kyrie Irving, Kanye, all oh, the Jews, this, the Jews, that. This is all prophecy. But you gotta keep your eyes single, understand what really what's going on. Right? We're on the brink of World War Three that we heard John Sally was talking about now. Let me get this one here. But you're let me see here. Yeah. Biden possibly getting us into World War Three, which can seriously happen. I will keep America out of foolish and unnecessary. And unlike Biden possibly getting us into World War Three, which can serious. And unlike Biden possibly getting us into World War Three, which can seriously happen. I will keep America out of foolish and unnecessary foreign wars, just as I And unlike Biden possibly getting us into World War III, which can seriously happen, I will keep America out of foolish and unnecessary foreign wars, just as I did for four straight years. Well, you can't stop prophecy, big man. <clears throat> you can't stop prophecy. Revelation 11. Because if World War III will happen, Thus save the Lord. And there's nothing or nobody that can change that. Right? Revelation 11 verse 14. The second war is passed. Meaning the second world war has passed. And behold, the third war cometh quickly. War means distress, anguish, or war. So the third world war is coming quickly. Right? Another precept. I'm sorry. Second Ezra's Second Ezra sixteen and verse um wow. Read it, my brother. Let me start at twelve. No, Salakia, wait. 
There's the point here. Second Ezra 16 and 6. May any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in the stubble. When they have begun to burn, may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues. And the main plague is going to be Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague. Let me get that. And this shall be the plague. Zechariah 14 verse 12. And this shall be the plague. Wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. So really, the Lord is avenging his people. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. What can cause that? What can cause... Remember the movie Terminator? That's what can cause the eyes to be consumed away, you see? See? And the tongue shall consume away on, in their mouth. There's, the, there's what Zachariah saw. See? There's a major plague here. You see? So back in Second Ezra 16 and 8 the mighty Lord sent the plagues and who is he that can drive them away so who who can stop the world war 3 from happening nobody no president no senator nobody a fire shall go forth from his wrath and who is he that may quench it exactly who can stop it who can stop who can stop it he shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? The earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof, the sea ariseth up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord, and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp, I shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So you should go understand that this is talking about a regular bone arrow because a regular bone arrow cannot be shot from <clears throat> one part of the world to the next part of the world. This is talking about an ICBM missile. When a missile is lost, what does the military call it? A, a broken arrow. You understand? The movie with John Tavorda. Right? So this is what this is what this is what's coming. World War Three. <clears throat> you see? And and nobody, no president. Just as I did for four straight years. Was it was it time, Skipper? Well all pat yourself on the back. have peace through strength that's all it is as events overseas have shown to protect our people from the unthinkable threat of nuclear weapons and hypersonic missiles the United States must also build a state-of-the-art next generation missile defense shield we need it the power of these missiles and the power of a word that I refuse to say nuclear we have to have it we need a defense shield and we have to do it and we actually have the technology and we're going to build it just as i rebuilt our military i will get this done i rebuilt our entire military which nobody talks about when i got there we had jet fighters that were 48 years old we had bombers that were 60 years old 
with bombers where their grandfathers flew them when they were new. And now the grandchild is flying the bomber, but not anymore. But as I have said before, the gravest threats to our civilization are not from abroad, but from within. None is greater than the weaponization of the justice system, the FBI and the DOJ. We must conduct... So let me get one last preset here. Let me shut this shot. Isaiah 54. Uh, verse 16. Behold, I have created a smith. Now you got a lot of smith, a key smith. A scientist is a smith. A smith. A smith is one that creates. A craftsman, a workman, an artificer of iron, brass, or steel. That's what the word smith means in the Greek. Behold, I have created a smith that bluffed the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created a waster to destroy. So, regardless of what Donald Trump is saying, there will be a third world war. Right? Another priest, another kind of mind. Then he get shot, shot. I think it's Isaiah nine or six. Let me see. Um. All right, sorry, Isaiah six and nine. I'm sorry, read it, my brother. Um. Isaiah nine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fuel of fire. Okay. Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. When you watch Spartacus, when you watch 300. Right? Rawr, Spartans! What is your profession? Oh! 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 So imagine they may get a war, <clears throat> right? <clears throat> For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. A gamma's rolling blood. <laughs> you know what I mean? When the blade meets the flesh and the blood splattering. <laughs> yes, right? But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Was it this? <laughs> The third world war that will happen that will happen and America as you know it will be desolate and will be burned 